Welcome back. In this session, we'll be doing subtracting decimals. But before we get started, you know the routine. Let's look at that helpful hint. In the helpful hint, place additional zeros at the end of each number so that each decimal has three digits to the right of the decimal point. Be sure that we align the decimal points when you write the subtraction in column form. Let's take a look at this problem. Here we're subtracting 72 and 300 thousandths minus 1 and 145 thousandths. Keep in mind the place values. In the digits to the right of the decimal, tenths, hundredths, thousandths. Notice that we're not able to subtract 5 from 0 or the 4 from the 0, but we can borrow from the 3. The 3 becomes a 2 tenths, so we're borrowing really 10 tenths. In this case, now this zero becomes nine one hundredths, and this zero becomes one one thousandths. Or actually, I should say ten one thousandths. I gotta get that right. Ten one thousandths. So in this case, ten take away five is five, nine take away four is five, two take away one is one. Align the decimal, and this becomes seventy one and one hundred fifty five. Thousands. Remember, in terms of place value, tenths, hundredths, thousands. Have a great day.